can't even contain my emotions. Yes, girl, we're doing a Korean skincare video. I'm going to be trying Korean skincare for 30 days straight for y'all, okay? This is like a big commitment for me. 30 days? I could barely do a weekly video. But you know I'm gonna do it for y'all because y'all my girls. Y'all are my girls. So I'm gonna let you guys know, is Korean skincare really bomb.com? Or is it hyped up? Dun dun dun. Let me move this down here. I didn't think you guys would be able to see that. Yeah, it's looking dirty. And we are not messing with Laura Shea Post Day no more. Nah. We are ditching the Western skincare. Thank you. That's like the whole point of this video because I'm trying to switch completely to Korean skincare because first of all, like we know why Korean skincare is trendy. Have y'all seen Korean grandmas? No wrinkles, babe. Like I need to know the secret. Like what the hell? in the skincare, okay? And it better work for me because I'm actually struggling right now. But as you guys can see, I am in my new bathroom. I'm in my new house. And by the time this video goes up, I've been here for a fat minute, actually. Anyway, so let me just show you guys what I'm working with because I'm actually breaking out really bad. I don't know if you guys can see because the lighting's like right here, shining on my face. Wait, let me turn this off. La reina, la diosa. I think you guys can see a little bit better. Yeah, I've been breaking out really bad. I have pimples right here, here, all right here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We just have a lot of pimples. I don't know where this came from. My skin has actually been really clear for a long time. Like ever since I moved to Mexico, like my skin has never been clear. Like seriously, I have not had a problem with pimples at all. But I think because I just came back from Cali and it was cold as hell, I'm gonna be honest, I was being lazy bitch. I was being lazy. Like when it's too cold, you think I'm trying Trying to wash my face with colder water? No! Yeah, so I was being lazy, I did not wash my face. I slept in my makeup like, I'm gonna say two times, maybe three. So I feel like this is the perfect canvas to work with because I have a lot of problems and I want to see if this Korean skincare can, you know, have a girl out. If you guys see my dad drift, just mind your business, okay? So I have a lot of problems with my face. Can you guys see it? Can you guys see all the problems? I just have really noticeable pores on my nose. I feel like you guys can't see that good because the lighting's just too bomb. But yeah, I have a lot of pores. My pores are very open. My texture's not the best, but it's not the worst either. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm gonna keep it in back. I already used the skincare already. I already used it. I could not wait for the video. Literally the day before we left back here from California, I went to Little Tokyo and Koreatown in LA. And I've never been there, y'all. It was so freaking fun. But the main reason I wanted to go there was to get my Korean skincare and I got it girl I got it they have so many stores that are just like full of pure Korean skincare like directly from Korea all right y'all let me shut up let me stop yakking I know you guys want to see what I got in store for y'all and I don't got none of that bandwagon stuff I personally went to go ask the lady that worked there I think she was Korean I personally asked her and told her my problems and she gave me this this is like personalized to my skincare, you know what I mean? If any of you guys are in LA or around LA or just around somewhere where you can buy Korean skincare, I really advise you to go in there and like ask. Don't just follow trends. Like get stuff that goes with your skin, you know what I mean? Because I feel like we get too caught up in the trends and it might work for somebody, but it might not work for you, babes. Because y'all don't got the same skin. Because y'all don't got the same problems. Okay, y'all, starting off with my cleanser, I got this green tea fresh cleanser from Isn't Tree. I'm gonna show you guys what the texture and everything looks like because I'm gonna wash my face right now. It's nighttime so i'm gonna do my whole nighttime routine just in case you're wondering yeah babes it says made in korea gracias you guys thought i was playing games no straight from korea babes so this i might be a train hopper on this one i'm not even gonna lie i think it's pronounced anawa i've heard a lot about this brand and this toner in general and on tiktok i actually looked up the korean brands for like combination skin because i have combination skin and stuff that will help my pores you know stuff that will help my skincare needs so i got this heart leaf 77% toner. I don't know what it's 77% of. Heart leaf. I don't know what heart leaf is either. But it looks good. Like, first of all, that's thick. That's thick. Next, I got this Fresh Relief Moisturizer. Senatella Asiatica. I'm like... No, chingis is that in Espanol, way. No, but it says all skin types. Oh, this is all skin types, guys. So if we're messing with this, you're messing with this because all skin types. Intensive moisture balance. Dermatologist tested. This brand is called Asis to be. Assist to be, something like that. I actually looked at a couple different... <laughs> Sorry guys, I got too excited. I actually looked up a couple different moisturizers in the store, like I tried it on my skin and stuff, and this one was pretty light, and since I live in a really hot, hot, humid climate, um, I feel like this was best, like a lightweight moisturizer, so my face doesn't feel really greasy or whatever. I've already used this for like two days in a row, and it feels good, y'all. Like, it don't got me looking greasy at all. Maybe a little bit right now, but it's like end of the day, y'all. And it was hot today. Look, just in case y'all were doubting me, yeah, none of that American shit. It's like 90% of these brands support 
We're really not gonna support that, thank you. Boom! Toner pads, base. Mis amores, nunca en mi vida jamás have I ever used some toner pads. Like, I've never used toner in my life. I'm gonna tell you guys what my skincare routine was before. Really simple, let me tell you that. It was literally cleanser, moisturizer, sometimes sunscreen. So that just gives you guys the idea where I'm starting at, you know what I mean? I've never really been a skincare girly. But now I'm gonna get into it, okay? Because I'm 21, I'm about to be 22. I am half white, you know? Them skincare jeans don't last very long, okay? So I gotta do what I gotta do. With that being said, oh wait, this is not toner pads. Gotcha, I gotcha. Okay, so this is actually um, a cleansing balm. I've never used a cleansing balm either. And this is from the brand Beauty of Josian. And I actually went on their website because I got a sunscreen from there also that I'm gonna be getting in a week or two. And I really like that their website, guys, based on your skin problems, like they recommended you products based on what you're looking for. So I really like that. A really easy to look at website because a girl like me, I'm a little slow. Like I need to be told where to go. Look how cute this is. Like a little spatula. Like, girl, I'm about to go eat. I just love how, like, they're, they think of everything in Korea. Like, you know, especially when you have nails and you try to get stuff out like that, and then it gets in your nails and it just makes me so mad and it's like hard to get out. Hello, the Koreans already thought about that. Next, I got these toner pads from Freya. I think that's what the brand's called, Freya. So, these pads specifically are for my pores and they're like more of an exfoliating pad. So, I only use them like two, three times a week. But I know toner pads are just so popular in Korea and they have so many different types. Like, in the store, the lady was showing me so many different. Like, I was getting so overwhelmed. Like, I just want to buy them all, you know what I mean? And this is what I'm telling you guys when you go to the store. Like, make sure you talk to somebody because it helps you out. Especially if you don't know Korean. Like, I did not even know where to start. Y'all, the lady was so sweet too, guys. I gave my alliance to that store. I'm never going to cheat on that store. That's my store forever. Because she was so nice. And she gave me so much free stuff. Love her. So this is what the toner pads look like. And this is what I was telling y'all when I said Koreans think of it all. Like, hello? Is this not the smartest thing I've ever seen in my life? And this is what they look like on the... Oops. Okay, y'all, so this is the free stuff that the store lady gave me. She gave me some BB cream. I'm pretty sure this is a Korean brand. I'm gonna try this on tomorrow, guys. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like because she, like, guessed my skin tone. So let's see if she got it right. She also gave me these little serums. She gave me, like, two packs, but I already used them already. And it's from the brand Onoma, and it's a redness reliever essence serum, which is really good. So I might go get some of this because I do have a lot of redness. That's also one of the things that I struggle with a lot. But, like, I didn't think I could get rid of the redness. So let me find out this serum. I'm just gonna take that away. Take all of my money. Okay, last thing in my Korean skincare, guys, is this serum, this 30-day miracle serum. I think this went viral on TikTok. I know I was, like, talking shit about, like, viral products and, like, just stuff going trendy. Like, I'm so different and stuff, but... <laughs> You guys got me. My sister actually got me this for Christmas because literally all I asked for for Christmas, guys, is Korean skincare. And I've only used this for a couple days, but I really wanted to save it for this video because we're going to do the 30-day trial, babes. We're going to see, like, what this skincare is really about. And this serum helps with pore care, brightening, and moisturizing. That's literally perfect. That's exactly what I need. Like, hello? Did you read my mind? Hello? It has AHA, BHA, PHA, Cinnatella, 14.5%. I'm going to be honest. I don't know what none of that shit means at all but i'm gonna trust it anyway so let's get into the actual routine i'm gonna start washing my face forehead out you know what that means let's get this face clean Watch out! Okay. So we're gonna start with this cleansing balm. So on the back it says to put it on with like a dry face so i'm pretty sure that's what you hear because that's what the directions say <laughs> I actually really like how this feels. I used another cleansing balm before and it was too, too like oily for me. This one feels really oily, but it doesn't feel like dirty oily. You know what I mean? Like when it stays on your face and it just feels like you're literally putting oil on your face. Nah, but I really like how this feels and it does really good at taking off all my makeup, y'all. Like I've been putting this on a full face. I don't have any makeup currently on right now, but this does really good at just taking everything off. Like my eyebrows, girl, everything. Okay, y'all see the pimples now? Yeah. <laughs> it's okay though. It don't matter if you got pimples you're still a baddie we got a lot to work with up here <laughs> I hate like a lot of products in the US it smells so chemically like bro Can you at least hide the fact that this is a natural damn get that neck <laughs> So there's the exfoliating side and then there's the soft side. So I'm gonna just use the exfoliating side to go in like deep on my nose, on my pores right here where it's really noticeable. I'm be acting like I know skincare. I get three Korean products, don't know how to act. And then with the other side, I just go all around. Anyway, so I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna go in with the 
this toner. Guys, let me know if it's good or not to be using two toners. I'm new to this. I'm new to this. I don't use this toner every day. As I told you guys in the beginning, I only use this like two or three times a day because it's an exfoliating one. But this one, I am going to be using every single day. Guys, I'm going to be honest. I don't know what this does. I just see like everyone putting their skincare on like this. So I'm going to be honest. I'm a follower. So that is the end of my skincare routine for my nighttime routine. My skin already looking glossy. Oh, you guys see that shine? And that's not from oil, that's from hydration. So I'm gonna get back to you guys in the middle of the month and then at the end of the month to show you guys my progress and what I have been seeing on my skin. And I'll see you guys in a couple seconds, but actually in 15 days. Betty checking out. Hello everybody, it is currently a month. Exactly a month after and this is how my skin's looking. This is the reveal. I literally just woke up I haven't put anything on my face yet. I have not washed my face I'm about to do my routine right now, but let me just give you guys an update like okay It's not looking it's not looking too good I'm be honest. But let me wash my face. Let me do my routine give you guys the update and then we'll do the reveal after okay <laughs> She's looking a little greasy. A lot has happened last time I talked to you guys. Like, when I say a lot, a lot. First things first, I literally got my toner taken away from me at the airport, stripped away from me, thrown away in front of my face. It was my fault because I didn't put in my check bag. But yeah, that was literally the worst day of my entire life. I think I did a little story time on it a couple of weeks back. I'm not really sure. And y'all, I was so sad because I was like, where am I going to get Korean skincare? Because I live in Mexico. There ain't no stores like this around here. <laughs> what am I going to do? So I went online. Turns out there's so many Mexican brands that sell like only Korean skincare. Like it's actually pretty cool. So I bought some. It came really fast. So I only went like a couple days without my toner. Also guys, another thing that has changed. I did get a Korean sunscreen. This was like super popular. I don't know who told me about it, but it's the beauty of Joseon. I've really been liking it guys. It does not irritate my face or irritate my eyes or anything like that because I do have sensitive eyes. And like some sunscreen, it like burns, you know. Next. Wait, 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 wait. Change number three. You guys notice anything? You guys notice it? Oh my God, that was so ugly. But do y'all notice anything? Your girl got braces. Only on the bottom row. And I low-key got the wrong color, so it just makes my teeth look dirty. That's probably why nobody's noticing. <laughs> Change number four. These nails. We're not going to get into that. Change number four. So I got this Anawa cleansing oil. I've only been using this for a couple days. I heard really good things about it. So the original plan of this video was that I was just going to do this for a month. I was going to do the first day, 15 days, and then the 30 day mark to show you guys like my full transformation and everything. But I got a little busy. I got a little sidetracked. I went to Cali. Some things happened and I just forgot to film. And like the month went by like this. Fast as hell. Like, like, like let's relax, please. I'm already 22 years old. God damn. So yeah, it went by too fast, so I decided I'm gonna make this a two-month thing. I might end up even making it a three-month thing, guys, because listen, listen. I was thinking of adding this to the routine, my washa. I've honestly been pretty lazy, like, ah, uh, yeah, I'm lazy. Sorry. I might just do a whole nother bit on this, trying the washa to see if it, like, really works. If it really gives me a jawline, because... That's enough. So for the second month, I'm going to just be implementing everything together. Everything that I've been doing, but I'm also going to start using this, the oil, and then that's it. Anyways, guys, so let's get into my new routine going into this new month. laziest person when it comes to skincare when it comes to makeup when it comes to all that like i just be trying to do it fast to get out the door okay so i can have more time to sleep lately i really have been loving my skincare and i've been so consistent with it first of all that's like crazy for me personally some nights when i just be lazy or it's been a long day i'll do a little water and take my ass to bed or sometimes i'll just take off my makeup and go to sleep and i know that's horrible 
but like I was just so lazy y'all and this routine like makes me want to do it every single day not miss a day because first of all I feel so refreshed like no ad type shit like no ad literally I feel so refreshed and I think my favorite part about the routine is this freaking moisturizer y'all it's so bomb like just the consistency on my skin it's so soft like velvet and first of all talk about the changes that I've noticed in my skin so above everything the texture has just gotten so much better like oh, I wish I could feel my skin like it feels like so soft even right here and that's where I had the most issues it would just feel like very textured you know when it comes to acne and everything honestly my acne has been kind of the same like I don't really break out too much but like around my period I do break out and I just had my period and I broke out a little bit so I do have like a little bit of scarring I don't know if you guys can tell but overall I have been loving this y'all and also I just feel like my skin looks so much brighter I don't know if it's a toner I think it is a toner because that's what toner does right I'm not a professional I'm not a professional but yeah my skin just feels so much brighter too and it looks it just looks so much healthier I feel like and it looks so much more hydrated but not too much where I'm looking oily type stuff because I used to have a big problem with my skin getting really oily and even like when I put a full face of makeup and I'm out here in this heat like my skin does not get oily like that y'all maybe a little bit like after hours and I go like that there's a little bit but not as much as I'm used to so I'm gonna see you guys on the next 15 day mark and then after that we're gonna do the full reveal after two months of what my skin looks like but I'm gonna give you guys a little overview of what it's looking like right now it just feels oh my god that forehead no it just feels so much better guys i do have dark spots right there but it still feels so soft y'all all right so i'll see you guys on the next section of this video los amo mucho today is the day we have all been waiting for ya llegó el pinche dia are you guys ready are y'all ready it's been officially two months are y'all ready that was so dramatic. It literally looks the same. But imagine like my face was all rejuvenated. Like I just went two years back in the past. And I actually think I have better skin now than I did when I was 17. And when I was in high school. Them hormones, babes, they be playing with you. It is two months in. And let me just tell you guys my experience. Because honestly, I had the best experience ever. I am forever Korean skincare. I'm never going back. Like when I say I'm loyal, y'all. You give me once and I'm yours forever. Like brands, like I will stay on the same brand until I die. Until I find out they're supporting next brand thank you so guys i'm gonna wash my face because i just woke up i'm lying it's like three o'clock but i've been busy y'all i've been on my gamer shit okay if you guys want to go follow my twitch i'm gonna be streaming like twice a week that's what i'm thinking like, i've been working hard blood sweat and tears on my stream so it could come out the cutest it could be you guys want to follow that <laughs> yeah i've been waiting all day to wash my face i hate going the day without a washed face like i literally feel disgusting i feel like i can't do anything but i know i needed to record this video today's the day yeah so let's do the last asmr skincare routine Oh, also I took my nails off. That real gamer shit. How I'm supposed to play? How I'm supposed to play on the keyboard? I've yet to have somebody tell me what this does. Like what the slapping does. Somebody please. Contestame por favor. I just feel rejuvenated. I'm pretty sure I talked about this a little bit earlier in the vid. I have always been so lazy when it comes to skincare. But this is like a big routine for me. This is a one, two, three, four, five step routine. Because I usually put sunscreen. But I don't know where my sunscreen is right now guys. So I don't feel like running downstairs for it. But a five step routine. That sounds crazy to me. Honestly. That has never been me. I don't even think I have a five step makeup routine. I'm lying. Yes I do. But basically what I'm trying to say is this routine makes me feel literally rejuvenated. Like I'm a whole new person. It makes me feel so freaking clean my skin feels amazing like ready to start the day like oh like i'm not lying when i said when i don't wash my face in the morning or i do it lazy like it makes me lazy for the rest of the day it makes me feel ew for the rest of the day you know what i mean like i need a clean palette and this is her but now talking about the products themselves as you guys can see good hello hello okay it might not look like the best skin to you but for me i'm gonna show some pictures of how my skin used to look guys But yeah, that's just how my skin would look like. It would be very on and off. Like some months I would have really good skin. Some months it would be bad. Some day it was just whatever. You know what I mean? But this is two months skin, y'all. This is the worst it got is one pimple. And I'm not going to sit over here and say like, your skin's going to be so clear. You're going to have glass skin. Like get on this routine, this exact routine. No, because all of our skin is different, guys. I remember growing up watching these types of videos and I was trying everything, babes. Everything. I mean toothpaste on the pimple. Literally everything. Any mixture I could come up with. Any mixture I've seen on the tube and literally nothing worked for me and that's because everybody's skin is different guys especially if you guys are in high school watching this or you guys are in your teenage years your hormones are just going crazy don't feel bad if your skin's not getting better or it's not looking how it, you want it to look like don't be too hard on yourself because it's really normal guys like the hormones are going crazy 
during those years, okay? There's stuff that you can do, but ultimately it's up to your DNA and it's also up to like what you're consuming and putting inside your body. If you guys are eating like so many processed food, sugar all the time, them hot Cheetos, yeah, I'm looking at you because that's exactly how I was in high school. And I'm like, why is my skin not clear? Bro, I had a bag of hot Cheetos every damn morning. <laughs> that was my breakfast. So yeah, so I'm definitely eating a lot better too, but this skincare in general guys, I highly recommend. I feel like my skin on the surface level feels so much more softer. I used to have really textured skin, like you could feel it. Like it wouldn't feel bumpy, but it would feel like just irritated. Like you, it feel like you could feel my pores and you could see them. <sighs> I'm, I'm out of breath. But overall, I feel like I have seen a really good change in my skin, like especially when it comes to texture and when it comes to the redness, I feel like it's a little less noticeable now. Overall, I recommend Korean skincare, you did your thing. You did your big one, okay? Also, another thing, I'm pretty sure I already said it in this vid, but don't just get products because they're so hyped up and you're seeing it everywhere on TikTok because I know a lot of these products, especially this one, the Anawal. Actually, Anawal, the brand in general, is really hyped up, but for a good reason, okay? Because... But at the same time, make sure you guys are getting stuff that's specifically for your skin type. Like if you have oily skin, combination skin, dry skin, get stuff that's for that. And also look for products that target your specific needs. Like if you have redness, if you have textured skin, pores, any of that, pimples, acne. I have combination skin, so these products worked really good for me. They don't dry out my face for nothing. They didn't make my face over oily. This is the perfect routine for me, and I'm definitely going to keep going with this routine. Also, I really liked adding this into my routine, the oil cleanser, because you guys know when I first started, I was just using the green tea, right? I wouldn't say I noticed like a huge difference, but I really do just like the texture of how it feels. It's an oil cleanser, obviously. So it kind of feels like oil, but it doesn't feel like it's clogging your pores or none of that. And that's what I'm really scared of because I have sensitive skin when it comes to clogging pores. But this is bomb and it takes off your makeup. Like it takes off anything you have on your face. This will take off what you have on your face, but I think it's just way easier to go on with this because this literally gets everything, babe. You won't have one fucking of makeup now so that is the end of this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this is like literally the longest video i've ever done two months you would like comment and subscribe right now right now okay you know the dedication this took for a bitch that has no memory yeah let me know if you guys want more videos like this in the future and i'll see you guys every single wednesday and sunday put it in your planners put it in your calendar yeah love you guys los amo mucho